Dodge Dakota that came in here on the wrecker because it wouldn't start. Also, the battery is there's no power on the inside. Everything's completely dead on the truck, and it won't start, won't do anything. And what I did first of all was to find out if I had available voltage at the starter at the battery. And available voltage is supposed to be 12 volts, which go to positive on this lead and negative on this lead. And you can see I've got 12.4 volts. So we've got available voltage. So the next thing I was going to do is just make sure that these cables are good. And a real quick test you can do to make sure these cables are good is a voltage drop test. And we're dropping the voltage across the negative to the negative, from the negative post in the center to the negative clamp on this side. And the same way over here, from the positive post and the positive clamp. And if you go from positive to positive, the voltage should be zero. So I'm going from here to here. And if you look at my voltmeter, you'll notice it, it reads zero. Then we move over to the negative and we do the same thing. From negative post to negative clamp should be zero. But when I touch it to it, what do we get? We get 11.77 volts. So we basically have roughly one volt or less going to the truck. So the truck's not going to start, it's not going to light a light up or anything. So basically what we've got here is a bad clamp or a bad connection here or around this battery. The whole problem is right here in this negative lead, which will just take me just a minute to fix this. So we'll pause the video now and I'll go ahead and clean the connector and then we'll come back and see what it does. Okay, on this same Dodge Dakota, what I've done is I've cleaned these two terminals and what I did is I used a wire brush and I removed these two bolts right here. They're held on with a 7 16 wrench, these two bolts right here. I took these two bolts loose, took this half inch one loose and took the clamp completely off and I cleaned underneath this connector area and also around the post using a battery post cleaner that I have right here, a battery post cleaner. and then. I reassembled everything and now let's do our test again. Remember we had our positive and our negative to look at our available voltage. And if you remember on our positive side we had zero voltage drop across the terminal and on this side we had 11.3 or 11.77 volts I believe it was. Now you see what we have across it? It's zero. I have zero drop across it now and more than likely if I've done this correctly the vehicle should start. So let's give it a try. As you can see, everything's working fine now. So, basically, a, a simple voltage drop test across the positive and the negative post. A lot of times, will fix your problem. This vehicle was record in, but the, the customer didn't know what to do, so was able to fix it in just a few minutes.